Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. This week's weekly tip number 17. And if you uh, YouTube the rest of them, they should pop up, I hope. I think we have a playlist. I don't know anything about YouTube. I'm simply trapped in a dungeon and our videographer yells at me until like a chimp on a movie set, I do the right thing. When not to lock out your presses, and by presses here, we mean chest work, shoulder work, tricep work, and yes, even quad work. Usually, locking out presses is totally fine. It's a part of the movement, and yes, I know you've seen the three videos of the one lady and the one guy from Iran doing the leg press thing and the shit buckles forward, but generally speaking, locking out is totally safe. However, there are some instances, quite a few, in which locking out may not be ideal and you may actually forego the lockout. So for example, on a chest press, you may stop just short of lockout and go back down. Here are the situations I can think of. Maybe you can think of a few more. Drop them into the comments and I'll tell you how wrong and stupid you are. Just kidding. I'm not that rude in the comments, am I? First, if locking out hurts the joints and not in a seemingly adaptive way, like, oh, that feels like it hurts a bit, kind of like training does, but then it gets better over a few weeks. If every time you do, you're like, ow, something is wrong here. This is bad. If that's happening, I would back away from the lockout because like, there's not a ton to gain, but a lot to lose potentially, and just like doing some joint damage and even just having to be in a, a pain in the ass for no reason. It's just like you hate training. The lockout for most purposes just isn't that important a part of the lift. So unless you like really feel comfortable with it, you don't have to do it. So if it feels really weird in joints and it hurts, you don't have to do it. No big deal. Thing is, a lot of people assume it's going to feel weird and hurt, but then they actually do it. They're like, it feels fine. And some asshole in the gym is like, you shouldn't lock out your joints. You're going to die. And that's total BS. Next, if not locking out causes better stimulus to fatigue ratios for the target muscle, which means, as an example, let's say we're talking about chest and presses. If not locking out your presses gives your chest a better pump on average versus locking out during every single rep, it leads the chest to feel way weaker after the workout than if you were to walk out, which is good. It means it was drained and uh, hypothetically worked really hard and thus the stimulus was really good. If your chest gets more sore after training, same given number of sets, lock out or not. If you don't lock it out, your chest is getting more sore. Hey, maybe that's a really good thing. And if it's better on joints and fatigue, then your stimulus to fatigue ratio seems higher when you don't lock out hey, go to town, fuck lockouts. Why would you need them if you're really just shooting yourself in the foot? It's not like this dogma where you have to lock out every press. Like, yeah, sure, in a powerlifting competition you do, but most of you guys watch this channel probably just trying to get jacked or generally strong, and that's totally fine. You don't have to lock out at all if it's actually better. Now, here's the thing. A lot of times guys won't lock out because they suck at the lockout slash are weak slash can use more weight if they don't lock out. And then they make excuses and say, I feel it better this way. You gotta be honest with yourself. If you actually feel it better, sweet. If you don't, just shut up and lock out. Next one, if not locking out can lead the target muscle to be a limiting factor to movement and prevent another muscle that you're not targeting from actually being a limiting factor. Again, the chest press is a really good idea. Like on a chest machine, sometimes the way the machine is designed or just your body's built or the relative strength of your muscles, if you get close to lockout and come down, towards the end when you're getting close to failure, it's your pecs clearly giving out. And then when you're done, you're like, dude, my that's it. And chest gets a huge pump, it gets sore. You're like my chest is definitely what's limiting me on this exercise. However, some machines, the way they're built, if you're locking out, then it really turns into a movement which the triceps are the limiting factor. So when you finish a set, go to failure, close, lock out, and rack, someone's like, pretty sweet chest, chest hit, yeah? And you're like, I don't know, man. I feel like my triceps are giving out every time. And my chest, I feel like every time I go to failure with my triceps, my chest has like three or four good reps left. Remember, those three or four good reps left, they can't be done anymore because you failed and you're done. But also, like, they need be some of the most effective reps from a stimulus perspective because they're the closest reps to failure, which generally are on average uh, at least a bit more hypertrophic, cause more growth. So if it's a situation where locking out is literally making another muscle that you're not really targeting, like when you do chest press, usually you're targeting, let's say, your chest and not your triceps. It's kind of like, well, this is kind of stupid, right? Like, what am I doing? Now, the counter example on that is – 
for dips. A lot of people you see doing dips, they won't lock out. The thing is like if you guys have ever gone close to failure on dips, now everyone's built different and it really doesn't matter how your body's built and sometimes how the dip stand is arranged. But in most cases, it's that last close to lockout that really fucks your triceps. And then guys will do dips. They'll say, I'm doing it for the tries, bro. And then they'll go like they do these kinds of shits. And it's like, well, motherfucker, you barely even turn on your tries like they could be if you actually locked out. And like, if they actually locked out, looks like they you know used to do 90 pounds hanging. Now they're just using their body weight and doing sets of eight. And they're like, that's really hard. That's not as impressive. So you have to be honest about what's going on. But yeah, if the target muscle is actually not the limiting factor when you're locking out, stop locking out. If that fixes the problem, don't worry about locking out. Just do a good job coming close to lockout. When you start to feel that other muscle engage, back off, slowly milk the stretch and go on from there. Lastly, if locking out feels highly unstable and thus potentially unsafe, I just wouldn't do it. So like if you're real strong on the hack squat and every time you lock out, like it wobbles and the machine wobbles and your knee kind of does like that kind of thing, like fuck that. Like I, I, you guys have seen me uh, lift a whole bunch in this channel and Instagram and stuff. And, you know, I lock out all my presses almost all, always, like all, all leg presses and I lock my hack squats out and people are like, oh my God, cringe, what are you doing? When I'm doing the movement, I don't feel a tiny bit of discomfort in the lockout and I feel completely, no matter what it looks like, externally. Internally, I feel completely stable and in control. This is, this would be a hilarious video to replay when I bust my shit open one of these days and I fucking do the fold back lady thing with my knees. It'll be funny. I'll laugh with you guys when I'm at the hospital. But in all honesty, it doesn't feel unstable. It doesn't feel unsafe. It doesn't feel weird. So I'm going to do it. But if for you locking out, honestly, honest to goodness, you tried it with your loads on hack squats or leg presses, if it just feels all sorts of wrong, you're like, dude, if I keep doing this, my shit is going to pop through. Some people's knees are more flexible. And when they lock out, it really isn't right. Don't do it. Then stopping just short of lockout is totally fine. Otherwise, just by default to put the muscles through a full range of motion and get maximal development, locking out is the default. So you should do it usually. But if you have a good excuse or rather a reason, I'm being a dick, uh, and it's maybe one of these four reasons and maybe it's another reason that is de pretty decent, then uh, yeah, you don't have to lock out, folks. No dogma, no religion here on this channel. Uh, just getting those good old fashioned gains in a logical, sensible way. And I'll see you next week for the next weekly tips where you hopefully have more useful information. Peace.